makes it really interesting. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to dodge. But I picked up the weapon and that stopped me from dodging. So good. That was strange. That was also strange. Must be having a little bit of a connection and kerfuffle. Oh man, my dodges are just not happening tonight. Yep, this, how did you know it was fearless? <laughs> you guys been playing each other, Misfit? Is that, is that what this is? is a clan that Misfit and Ashes started back like in November or something. It was a while ago. So what we used to do to get membership into this thing was you had to run like a gauntlet of me, Ashes, <laughs> me, Ashes, and Misfit. And this was back in the day. You know, a long time ago in the annals of Brawlhalla, um, you had to run a gauntlet of matches with me, Misfit, and Ashes, and if you could get through all of them without raging, then we would think about letting you in. We basically just wanted to ensure that you were cool beans. What? I don't think there are any other clans hand cool. Um, you know, so if you want to start one and then we can have clan wars, which would be totally sweet, you should certainly do that. <laughs> oh, it finally hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. All right. Good first Player match against wins. Fearless. I can dig it. GG, my friend. GG. They keep trying to convince me to put on the tag since I am part of the Joe clan. But the thing is, is that I don't know how to make the little umlaut, so I'm just not going to. Just not going to do that. Hey, well, let's play Nash. I think Nash is Nash. pretty strong right now, now that the hammer's a lot better. Ooh, busting out the Scarlet. <sighs> delicious, delicious orange juice. Remember, everyone, hydration is the key to victory. If you're not well hydrated, 
you don't play video games Three, as well. Two, one, and if you're drunk, you play video games with slower reaction time. This is just the truth. I don't want to make the fancy O. Kicked him right into the Valkyria horn. That was sweet. What's interesting is that uh, Fearless has like a very similar dodge pattern to Misfit, which I find kind of interesting. Oh, we're both dead! <laughs> I don't copy-paste clan tags, I need to know how to make the alt thing. And then on top of that, I haven't worn a clan tag in I don't know how long. Since, uh, uh it's probably been like three years, and before that it was like five. I don't put on clan tags lightly, man. You know, what if I want to make like a rival clan that will one day, you know, destroy, destroy this clan of ours that we've started with Misfit and I? Like, what if, what if I want to create my own legend, my own storyline? That would be cool, right? Oh, we just blew each other up again. Look, I've been control seeing, control being for a very long time. I know all about the copy and paste. I will tell you what. I knew how to copy and paste when you were just a tool in your mama's eye. That's, that's how that is. Been copy and pasting since 1989. When it was a basic function. And by basic, I don't mean easy, I mean like basic, the programming language. <laughs> that sounds like an actual betrayal. It's not betrayal if you're, uh, if you're doing it as part of a revenge tale. You know? I mean, yes, Wells Knight, I'm old, but you know what? So are you, army fella. You're in the same boat as I am. Maybe not as old, but, you know, close. <laughs> uh, this is what I like about playing Fearless, because he picks up on what I'm doing, and then he's like, oh yeah, I can, I can, get, I can get in on some of that. <laughs> Everyone needs to know how old the old people are, right? That's a requirement. So, I don't know. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> that was a beautiful Player way to end it. Wins. Uh GG Fearless. That was lovely. Lovely bombs. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, what I'm thinking is we could create an epic storyline where somehow it's like perfect counter to the Joe clan. Oh, man. All right, so it looks like Misfit wants to get in. Okay, man, you can come in. Best of three. Then we rotate. That's how this works in my imaginary clan. Hey, Resno. Thanks for swinging by, man. Nice to see you again back in the stream. I like this whole stream thing. It's very social. It makes me feel like I'm not just grinding games over and over again. You know, it's like we can hang out, we can chat, we can talk about all the important things that we love and hate and hate and love. Autorious. Hate to love, love to hate, and all that stuff with the hating and the loving. So, <laughs> Misfit and I have been playing some Hattori uh, matches, mirror matches. So everyone pay close attention because Misfit is probably the closest 
today, as of today, he's the closest anyone has ever gotten to beating Three, me. Two, one, so, brawl. we will see if he's able to pull that off or not. chasing away like how old are we i'm gonna be 30 this year so take that as you will but i'm gonna be 30 this year so that feels pretty old to me oldish oh that was awkward trying to dodge. Ooh, that was an unfortunate direction. <sighs> Nice combo. Wow. All right, so I've officially broken a new record. I have 15 people watching this. Never had 15 people watching me before. So thank you, everyone. It's pretty cool. Hopefully I do not wreck it by totally losing the misfit while the most people ever are watching my stream. Because that would be awesome. Awful? Awful? Huh. <laughs> Oh, come on, weapon drop anytime soon? Or is it gonna be gadgets all day? Oh, there's a weapon. So for characters who like to dodge into you, Misfit being a prime example of that, the uh, Hattori Spear Signature is a great move. No! Nice movement. Uh, so one of the things... Oh, and of course, as soon as we celebrate the 15 people in stream, two of them leave. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch. I understand now how you operate. In a way that is meant to make me sad. <laughs> Alright, so if you didn't see what I just did there with the Valkyria horn, that is what we in the fighting game community like to call an unblockable setup. Because you can't block that. He was either going to get hit by the unarmed attack or hit by. Valkyria horn. Awesome. And that is why I love Valkyria horns, ladies and gentlemen. Look, Misfit did it. I figured it out. Oh, the dodge punish. 
<sighs> yeah, you know, rest now, it's one of those things where I think it's all about the little victories in Brawlhalla. Oh, wow. Misfit with the really good stuff. I really don't think Misfit plays on a controller, guys. I think he plays on, um, I think he plays on a keyboard. So the whole keyboard thing is not a valid excuse. Oh, that spacing though. That dive kick punish. Oh, nice item cross. Whoa. Misfit takes the first game. He's going to be really pleased about this. <laughs> See, look. Very, very pleased. Alright, I guess we will do best three. As promised. These are just going on pretty long. Because Misfit's really good. Oh, and then he leaves? What happens to best of three? You're just going to, like, take that and leave? Come on. Oh, he says he's coming back. Okay, never mind. Does he remember the match number? Oh boy. Bump bump. Bump bump bump. Bump bump bump. Tori. Alright, let's do it. Let's get back in it. You know, Fearless, there is such a thing as, like, compressed air. You can buy some of that and clean out your keyboard. Three, two, or one, get a decent roll. gaming keyboard. The one I have was, like, 40 bucks. It's about the same price as buying a controller. So now that Misfit beat me, I need to do the best that I can do to punish him back into the ground. So with a convincing two-stock lead, start figuring out better methods for dive kick stopping. Whoa, what's going on with my frames? Alright, it's 5 to 2. <laughs> uh, I hope he doesn't blame me for like letting him win or something last round. Oh man. 
Yuck, that's just gross. You don't clean that out with your tongue, man. Kills are bombs. Well, all three kills may have been bombs, but no fault of my own. I will tell you. Oh, nice down pound. Bombs are OP though. comes the next GG. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Revenge tale is now. Hattori. I have a very particular set of Brawlhalla skills. Ones that enable me to destroy you. <sighs> yeah, pouring the salt out. It is quite possibly the single greatest fighting game taunt ever created. Very pleased about it. Very, very pleased. Compton, there are no such thing as frames in this game. It's been confirmed by the developer. The game does not run at 60 frames per second. You cannot count how many frames moves have because it runs at something goofy like 18 milliseconds per tick. So you can't really count as accurately as it relates to 30 or 60 frames per second, which makes it kind of moot because it's in a timing that nobody can really understand. So... I know that sucks and it made me sad, but I asked that question like three months ago. No, of course he's going to pick Brawlhaven. Um, I asked that question like three months ago because I wanted to make some like information on, you know, the moves and how fast they were. They don't even have the spreadsheet for that. There's currently no list of how three, quickly things come two, out. One, brawl. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to spec... Misfit to make a lot of really random Brawlhaven type plays. It's going to be very fun and entertaining. Bum, bum, bum. You can still kind of look at moves and decide, like, yeah, you could do it on video frames, but the trouble is, is that there's no, like, really, mm, what's the word, good way to prove that? Like, I don't know. Like, because the game doesn't run at 60 frames per second, you're going to get an inaccurate timing uh, from everything. 
even if you try to like do it frame by frame. I don't know. Oh, I missed it. And the other problem is, is because the attack speed of characters affects like how quickly everything interacts from uh, cooldowns to you know everything else. It's going to be different for every character, so I don't know. There's just a lot of reasons why I haven't messed with it. Jumping around, putting down bombs all over the place. Oh, that should have worked. <laughs> well, that, aren't all the Lance characters pretty slow when it comes to attack speed, though? And the other thing, too, is like you'd have to count like how quickly people can attack out of dodges and everything else, and it would have to be in the same setting every time. Like, if you're gonna do it, awesome. But the thing is, is like I don't see how you can do that and get completely accurate information. That's all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I misfit. It is a tactical, technical term. Alright, I need to just focus on winning again. So I'm trying to like experiment. <laughs> Uh, the experimentations. The experimentations, that's what does me in. Oh man, I hate how Misfit dodges out of that. It hits everyone else. Everyone else but Misfit. Oh man, it's like he was waiting for me to do that. It's like he's trying to get in my head. why Misfit loves Brawl Haven. Because of how Hattori just will not die. See, look at that. Any other place, Hattori would be dead right now. Brawl Haven, not so much. <coughs> yeah, the Lance is still from like the old system of of weapon design. What I mean by that is um Whoa, that was close. Oh, come on now. Why is my game lagging frame worrying? Oh my goodness. What is going on? I'm not getting any frame drops, so... Uh-oh. 
<laughs> These games need more Roland. I'll play Roland next. I'm okay with that. He's just nerfed to shit now, and he's pretty awful. <coughs> he's so slow now, and because the sword and the lance both do pretty pathetic damage, it's like he can't close out the way that he used to. So, I don't know. It's not that he's an unwinnable character, it's just... He just doesn't have the same type of, like, sustaining power that he used to. Like, he can't get in as much damage as easily. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Brawlhaven either. Rest now music. I think Brawlhaven's, like... I don't know, it's just got some problem. That would be an amazing cover, Hey, I'm Cool. And if I had a voice like Adele, I would sing the crap out of it. <laughs> oh, man. Compton, the sword nerf discussion ended a long time ago. You gotta stop bringing it up, man. Alright, looks like Rest Now is gonna come in. I'll play Roland. Sir Roland. We'll remember the good days. I believe in your vocals. There are guitars in the background, but my vocal prowess has been long dormant, I will say. Whoa, Clint! <laughs> oh no, he opted at the last second. <laughs> three, I guess it's going to be two, a three-way. What? Who's leaping? Oh, I guess Clint's going to leap. Oh, man. Most damaging move King Roland has now is this one. It wasn't two seconds, and it wasn't 100 damage either. It was more like 60 damage when you landed both up heavies, which was only possible when people were below orange health. So otherwise, it was into air tilt, which does 15 damage, plus the down tilt, which does 24. So he did 36 damage in one combo, which, by the way, is exactly how much guns do when they hit down light air, which you can repeat and combo into itself. So... I don't see what the problem is, and I'm tired of people complaining about where the sword was in the past because it's not even like that anymore. So, I would appreciate not having to hear about it anymore from all the people who appreciate the changes. It was fun before, now it is less so. That's my argument, and I'm sticking to it. I appreciate it when, like, both me and the other guy uh, do the same thing at the same time. Uh, this was the character I won, uh, like, two tournaments, or the first tournament, which was at the beginning of January. So, yeah, he's been changed. Like, his, the character himself hasn't been changed, but both of his weapon sets have been changed, and not for the better. So, like, both the Lance and the... Uh, and the sword, his other weapon, received pretty significant uh, nerfs. You know, some of them had to happen, sure, but some of them I just do not agree with. So the lance had most of its hitboxes changed and a lot of the force properties uh, readjusted. So, like, it's probably due, because I think the Lance is still a great weapon. It's just not quite as godlike as it used to be. Um, like, it used to be this move, this air neutral that I'm doing right now. Um, this one where he kind of goes in a... Not that one. But that one where he flips upside down. It used to be that the hitbox covered, like, the entire character, right? So <laughs> you were basically invulnerable while you were doing it. It had such so many active frames, it was impossible to dodge, you know? So, like... You could just basically control an entire area of the airspace with one move, 
which was pretty sweet. And at, at the time, like, people weren't very good with a lot of the Lance's other moves, so it was something that... I don't know. It was something that worked pretty much too well in its favor, but they changed that and they changed a bunch of other things as well. Um, I don't know. I really ought to go back and like document all the changes for each weapon. Um, I probably would. You know what we need to do, Compton, is we need to make a, uh, a wiki for the game. Because I don't think it has one yet. And it would be really good to like document all this stuff by weapons so I can actually make sure I know what I'm talking about. is not good for what I just did. <laughs> tired now because like you used to be able to play like a grounded game a lot better with some of the with the sword and now it seems like you're just gonna get air tilted constantly like I am now for example dominating yeah I don't mind it being like a user created wiki I'm okay with that Shut you know down. I've done plenty of wiki editing in my day I know how it works going on with the frame drops? There must be something going on with my computer. Oh, come on. Ugh. See, it used to be when you played the sword as Roland, people were afraid to get close to you. Now, it doesn't matter if they get close to you. Because even if they do, you just can't put down the damage. Yeah, I've never said that Lance Air Force wasn't any good. I think that, uh... I think that the Force on it is still awesome. I should probably do Roland training now that he's been changed.
Yeah, I agree with you. The hitboxes need to change. I think the, the when they changed them to capsules, though, in the last patch, it was just like... Uh, I don't know. Too, like... Uh, what's the word for it? Ada. It was too big of a change without them being able to predict what the impact was going to be like for all of the moves. <laughs> so... You know, it was like, I don't know how to, how to think about this. It's like, you change up the, Three, two, you know, one, the, the hitboxes of every single move in the game. It's not like you're suddenly going to have um, better game balance, you know, for making like a practical change. Like it needs to happen, but there's still like a bunch of adjustments. Hold on a second. I need to really figure out why the heck I'm getting frame rate lag. Hold on. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. What's open that might be causing this? Normally, I never have problems like this. It's probably just that my thing needs the reset. It's probably Dreamweaver. Screw you, Dreamweaver. And my printer. All right, let's go back to this. All right. Cool beans. Bow. Oh, it's still doing it. I need to figure out why I'm getting the lag. That really sucks. That really sucks, Paul. <laughs> mm. go. <sighs> Roland, rolling down the river, working for the man every night and day. He's rolling, rolling, rolling down a river. Rolling, rolling, rolling hay. Rolling, rolling, rolling hay. Roland, Roland Day. Mm. You know, dominating. Uh, yeah, this is a pop filter. You know, all these people are like, God, the sword wasn't nerfed. Well, you know, I could never do things like this with Ada before. So I'm still going to try to point out clearly what just happened here. Ada kicks ass now. The only reason I don't play her all the time Shut is because down. I still like the Tori as a character more. But guns and spears are kind of like the undefeatable combination. Not to mention her signature moves are both great. And she has amazing attack damage. I don't know. The Spear Wall of Death was removed because unlike all the other changes that I don't like 
You never hear me complaining about what they did to the throws because I think that the throws were seriously broken before and that it's better this way. So, the throws had to come as a change. They really did. Nerfing the velocity on all these things was super important. But, you know. Unfortunate. Player one wins. <sighs> yeah, the lance wall is still there. <laughs> GG rest now. GG. <coughs> All right. So whoever wants to play next, Clint, if you want to hop back in here. Uh, basically, throws used to have like a much bigger velocity, so the throws had would go like three times as far. Some of them did ridiculously imbalanced uh, amounts of damage. You know, like they were just... Like at one point, the Valkyria Horn toss, if you hit someone with the Valkyria Horn, did like 56 points of damage. This is a direct quote from a developer. So, you know, take that as you will. But <laughs> some of the things were completely imbalanced with items, so they kind of did like an overhaul after they realized how badly Misfit was abusing it. Wasn't me. It's misfit. Um, all that abuse, man. So, yeah, and I think that was something that happened to change. Like the hitbox on weapons wouldn't die for ages, so you could bounce them off the ground and like make undodgeable hitboxes. Like it was just broken, you know. Unlike other things where they were changed because they were really good and not broken. Three. Two, Anyhow, one, let's go ahead and we'll see what Clint does. He's playing Ada, which as I just mentioned, is probably one of the best characters in the game right now. And if my game keeps frame lagging... Oh, dude, why you gotta be so aggressive with the, uh, with the item tosses, man? What you gonna do when you have no item? You gonna dive kick? Yeah, he's gonna dive kick when he has no item. All right, up, oh, and I fell right into that. Wow, what is up with this? This has never happened in a Brawlhalla game ever before. No, pre-patch Ada, the reason she was bad was because she couldn't put up with the uh, with the damage that sword characters could put onto her. So, like, she would die to the combo because she would just get tilted. You know, as soon as you were able to guarantee into a combo, right? So, it's the, it's the problem where now, if you play Ada correctly, it's very, very hard to get a tilt on, in on her because you can just space you out with both of her weapons. still has crappy armor, you know? It's just... It is that much harder now to put damage onto characters that don't do so well. You know, in that type of scenario. But with Ada, you can put damage down safely most of the time. Now, because the other weapons got gimped. There's the spear Dominating. wall you wanted. Right there in picture color.
Up. Oh, oh no, perfect angle on that. Shut down. <laughs> How do you feel the same way, Fearless? Be more descriptive. Let me know what it is you're thinking. Yeah, there's that neutral one that's so easy to punish. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't care about the Valkyria horn. Well, the problem is, is that a lot of players doing something is different from the top three people doing something. And that's the trouble, it's like, a lot of my opinions, I guess they don't make sense for people who don't have to deal with players like Fruitsburg, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and the other like really, really talented players who are out there kind of changing the way that the competitive game gets played. Because the sad fact of the matter is, is that like, Player Some of this wins. stuff doesn't apply in the bigger sense. Does the average Brawlhalla player care that the sword got nerfed? No. They don't. They don't care. But when it's the difference between putting down 40 damage and putting down 20 during a tournament, it's a big flipping deal. So that's the way that I have to approach all this stuff is thinking about it from a 1v1 perspective against like the top three players not how it works for people playing free for all or the rest of it because you know all I can do is look at it and go okay so the blade has a guaranteed combo right now for 40 uh, for 40 damage three, guns two, do 32 one, damage ball. on a down hit which is incredibly easy to set up like more so than any other move and it's repeatable into itself so, it's stuff like that. Like, you know, it's, it's more about spacing and distancing, not like, oh, this move is just as good as this move. Well, when you're thinking about it in scenarios of how easy it is to apply that move to people in different situations versus other moves, blah, 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 analysis, analysis, analysis. You have different opinions on this stuff. So, I don't know. That's how I approach all this crap. What's going on in my head probably doesn't make sense to most people, and maybe no one should listen to me about any of this. But, just like everybody else on the internet, I've got opinions. I like to share them. Oh my gosh, Lucian Blades, my least favorite thing on the planet. Lucian guns I can deal with. <laughs> Lucian Blades... Not so much. does a little bit better against the blades now that we've discovered that this air neutral with the spear essentially does the same thing uh, as essentially does the same thing as what the lance used to do where it covers your entire hurt box it is pretty safe. This move actually is like the only thing that protects against dive kicks, so long as the timing is correct. And another one. <laughs> Gotta rely more on these setups, but it's good stuff. 
Yeah, see, like, the, the Katar thing, um, you know, does less damage than the swords, because that was its design from the get-go, right? You know, to do less damage, but to put down things more frequently. I like the Katara having combos. You know, it's fine. But the thing is, is I want it to be able to have punishable openings. Whoa, that was an accident. Well, the reason things didn't beat out the guitars before is because, again, the frame data for this game is all wonky. So, before it didn't matter because there was no, no bladed character that had as fast attack speed as uh, Lucian. So, it, it honestly didn't matter because uh, the other characters were much slower and therefore like it was kind of balanced out like, where the blades weren't that significant. Then you bring Lucian into the equation... And all of a sudden, it's a little bit different because of how fast he is. All right. Player two wins. Another victory coming out. GG, Clint. I do hate playing against Lucian. <coughs> Compton's another part of the old man club here with me. Old men. Doing stuff. <laughs> Clint, you're such a dick. Clint says in chat, I know you hate Lucian, that's why I play him. And proceeds to smile and mock me, using an emoticon with closed eyes and a laughing mouth. A face I'll... that will haunt my dreams tonight. So I try to consider the sad fact of the matter that... I don't know. I still need to figure out why I'm dropping frames on this stuff. It's like Fearless is going to play Scarlet. That's pretty cool. Wow, how is Brawlhalla taking up 20... Wait, what? The flip. How is Brawlhalla taking up 20% of my CPU right now? There's got to be a memory leak somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to go AFK after this set. And... Random. Yeah. We'll do that. No, 17 is not old. You think you're old. You think you know some stuff when you're 17. Don't worry. You've got a lot of, uh, a lot of mistakes Three, left to be made. Two, one, brawl. Up. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it was weird because what I was seeing was it was using up like 50% of my CPU or something. Ah, uh, dodged the wrong way. Oh, I just dove kick into my own bomb. Come on! I just want to get up. 
Thank you. Oh, well played. Well played, Fearless. Yeah, the fact that I was able to hit with that made me very pleased. What? Oh, Fearless is starting to teleport some. Kind of awkward. Ooh, but I like that. That's probably my favorite hammer move. The, uh, this one. When I hit someone with this move, I just feel like I am so good at Brawlhalla that I should call my mom. Like, just look at it. It's beautiful. I don't know. It just fills me with glee. Oh, guaranteed that one. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, I don't know. That varies from household to household, Clint. But yeah, 19 is 29. That's a little, it's a little bit of a disparity there. It's what? What's the rule? It's like plus seven divided by half, right? That's how it works. So it's, you know, twice twice your age, or your age, plus seven, divided by, I can't remember how it works. It's a mathematical equation. Someone explain it. Someone look this up. Now, like, I don't have these problems because my wife and I were born in, like, the same exact year, three months apart, so. I see what you did there, Fearless. Oh, my dodge reactions are just non-existent tonight. Oh my goodness. Age divided by 2 plus 7 is the approximate rule. Alright. That sounds statistically accurate. sure what I said there, but, you know, I said it. Playing as a signature. And we both blow up. Alright. Oh, it's good times. <laughs> All right, one more and I'm gonna go AFK uh, for a break so I can restart my client as well. Raven, please kill him with both of our sword special. I wish I could, I wish I could. But unfortunately we killed each other with a bomb. We bomb hugged each other to death. <laughs> it's very fitting. <coughs> Just pick up Ada, man. Hattori. Pick up Ada. Ada's a great character right now. And spears and guns are really useful weapons to learn. You know, if you want to get away from uh, from hammers. It's good to kind of get comfortable with all the weapons. You know, you're clearly not going to enjoy all of them. Like, I still don't like guitars. But I do like hammers a lot more after, you know, Three, getting away from two, just one, Roland and just roll. Satori all the time. Whoa! And just 
interesting. Also interesting. One of the things I've been getting away with recently when I'm at least one stock ahead is to do... So just murder-suicide them. <laughs> yeah, you know. Murder-suicide thing. It's interesting. Super, super good. Specifically with the spear and the lance. Alright. Ha 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 ha! Oh man, I missed it. But then so did she, so it's alright. those air tilts on arm I gotta say. Whoop! Nice scoop. Nice scoop. <clears throat> Comps has given away all sorts of knowledge over in the Twitch chat. If I had time to read it, I would. Oh, and then I just jump right into it, of course. Oh, right over the head. bombs no oh, and another one like he just walked down towards me it was like ugh, I'm just gonna throw this right in your face yeah <laughs> uh, guns are a little weird until you get comfortable with their whole move set you know Nice signature. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, just air tilt. Air tilt all day. That's all you gotta do Player with uh, uh, with it. GG Fearless. Those are some good games, man. You got some pretty sol solid Scarlet action. I gotta admit. Alright. Closing down Brawlhalla because it's leaking memory like a bad faucet straight out of hell. Let's go ahead and turn on this stuff. Oh, let's see. We'll go ahead and put this video on because it's one of my favorites. And I'll see you guys shortly. Hey, hey Brawlhalla fans. It's Raven. Three, and two, today I'm kind of making a little bit of a different video for you guys. I want to talk about how to analyze your mistakes 
in efforts to improve. So basically the way that I've been thinking about this lately is every time you get hit, it's because you've made a mistake. And every time the other player gets hit, it's because you made a good decision and you were able to hit them. And if we think about Brawlhalla in this way, you can become a better player just by minimalizing the amount of mistakes that you make and analyzing the mistakes that you do make and changing your tactics accordingly. So the reason why I'm showing this to you inside of my video editing software is because I want to be able to pause it at any given time and kind of talk through different scenarios. So let's go ahead and take a look at this match and we can talk about the mistakes in this match. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll wait for the uh, we'll wait for the first knockout here. I believe I'm playing on Hattori and we've got Misfit on Roland. So when Roland comes back in, what I'm trying to do here is just clear the board and okay, so we see a pretty crazy combo uh, coming out right here from me. And let's go ahead and see what the mistake is. Okay, if we review the tape really quick. Now, I'm trying to clear the board of Roland has just gotten on the map. So he throws the item and I dodge through it. And then at this point, we're thinking two different things. I want to call the Valkyria horn to protect me. Roland wants to punish me for trying to call a weapon. So what does he do? He dodges forward. But he doesn't anticipate me picking up a weapon first in which I'm able to hit him out of it. He also runs into the spear here because I had tossed it upwards earlier and he forgot about the zoning distance. So anytime somebody tosses a weapon straight up in the air, you have to be really careful about it coming down and hitting you. Now because I was able to hit him with the sword, he got hit by the Valkyria horn, then got hit by the spear, and then got hit again. And you can see he just started this match and... He's already at yellow health now because of that combination of attacks. So he dive kicks here, which is kind of like the right reaction at this point. It's like, oh, look, I've got some airspace. Let's dive. And he misses. So this doesn't seem like too much, but this is a positioning mistake. What he wanted to do was hit me, but he made a mistake by his positioning being off and me standing in place. Maybe he was expecting me to dodge backwards and made an incorrect prediction, but... This was a mistake from Roland. Now, I chase after him and get a good couple of double hit knockouts. Or double hit there with the items and able to ping him there with the spear. And let's take a look at the next thing that happens. So here I get hit. I get hit by a mace ball. Now, in this position, what's happening? Roland has an item, and he can toss it upwards and diagonally, and he's in the perfect position to do so. You can see it's a, like a perfect 45-degree angle in our positions. Me, I'm getting ready to throw the spear. Now, because I'm locked into the throwing animation, even though I see that he's in perfect position to do this, I can't dodge because I'm already locked into a throw. So this is my mistake here. What I should have done is instead of throwing, I should have been ready for dodging, but instead I get hit. So here I'm trying to recover. I pick up an item, I try to make some distance, and Roland gets hit. So what happens? Why does Roland get hit? What is he thinking? So he dodges early. Maybe he's expecting me to throw diagonally here, and he predicts wrong. So he dodges expecting a diagonal toss, and because of that, I'm in good position now to just hit him with it. So, I mean, these things, they seem like little small things, but it's all of this decision making that affects whether or not you win the game. You know, it's a, a full on game of Brawlhalla is a continued series of predictions, decisions, and actions. And basically whoever has the best decision making and the best actions to follow up on those decisions is the one who comes out on top. Let's go ahead and keep looking at this. All right, so Roland gets back, he dodges early, and then I get a knockout. So how did that happen? Let's take a look. So he dodges early, expecting me to throw perhaps early. I'm waiting for his dodge. So he manages to jump over the mace ball, but here he's reacted to my attack. And because he's in mid-action, I have the opportunity to punish. So immediately I do a quick uppercut. 
and I'm able to knock him out. And that's something that I like to do quite frequently. Let's take another look at this. Something I like to do quite frequently is at close range throw an item and then when people react follow up with an attack. Whether they react with a jump or a dodge it doesn't really matter. Alright, so let's see what happens next. Here we go, and I get knocked out immediately. So let's see what happens here. So Roland comes down, and he picks up a weapon, and I immediately go aggressive, and Misfit dodges right through me. And because of this, I'm still in my recovery animation, and he's able to follow up almost immediately with a down light attack into an air hit combo recovery move to knock me out. So what should I have done there? Well, here's the thing. When people first come into the match, it's usually a better idea to just leave them be for a little while because because of their invulnerability, when they first hit, it can become... See, because... Look at this. So, Roland here, when he picks up this weapon, you'll see he still has invulnerability frames. Even before he dodges, he's still flashing. Okay? So, there was no way I was going to hit him anyway because the invincibility doesn't immediately go away on weapon pickup, it only immediately goes away on item pickup. As a good player, I know that, but I made a mistake and got punished. Let's see what happens next. Alright, so I get hit by an item toss. This is a very common tactic for Misfit. So, Misfit likes to get into the air and throw the item. What could I have done here? I should have dodged. I should have expected this or I should have been farther away. Now, looking at this, I see that I was trying to throw my weapon as well, and I get hit out of that animation because I didn't throw it fast enough. If I had thrown it fast enough, maybe we had been we would have been able to trade hits here. And trading hits is fine because it keeps you on equal footing, but in this situation, I didn't react fast enough. So in the future, what do I do to fix this mistake? I either react faster or I just know that I'm not going to be able to throw as quickly when I'm on the ground, so I just prep myself to dodge or stay out of that direct downward attack angle for weapon throws. Alright, so I try to throw in retaliation and completely miss, and I get punished for it. Okay, let's look at that again real quick from the top. So, I get hit. I try to throw through, but Roland isn't there because the way that he lands and he dodges through it. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens next in the analysis of play. He dodges through it, I dive kick and miss because my spacing was off, and we do a close range bomb throw. Alright, so here's an example of something that happens all the time with people. This is everybody who plays competitively and likes to dodge. Um, dodging too soon. So. And this is something where you can improve your performance against people just by waiting a little bit for them to dodge and then hitting them. <coughs> so here I go up. I'm going to come up this way. Roland's going to dodge early, and he's going to dodge into me. When people dodge into you, they're trying to punish you for being overly aggressive, and they want to be able to attack you immediately afterwards, which is why they're trying to close the gap to you. If it's a purely defensive move, they're going to dodge away. But if they dodge into you, they're thinking offensively. All right, that's going to be it for this little portion of the stream. I'm just going to go ahead and restart it just for clarity's sake. Um, so I will be right back. You probably have to refresh or something. 